Well, if you have a, a new Windows 8 or a even Windows 7 you installed an SSD, you might be running out of a little bit of room here on your SSD. I had bought one of the 120 gig ones. Well, here's a way to, to move something that can help you out a little bit. We're going to bring up the control panel here. And uh, rather than looking for it, we can just type in index or search here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look at change the way Windows uh, searches. So I want to go take a look at that. Now what we come up with is a dialog box for indexing options. You'll see all the different places on your hard drives that have been set up for searching, uh, automatic searching. And you may not have intended some. Some may have gotten that. Like I have an installed directory uh, and some other places. I don't want, I don't care about it being indexed. Some old live mail stuff I want to get rid of. So I'm going to modify it and click down there. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, okay, here's the explanation of where everything's at and all that. But uh, the summary is at the bottom, by the way. So if you click on that, you'll see how things change. But you can click down here on graphics, and it'll go ahead and highlight uh, exactly where. So I'm going to click games, and uh, the games will no longer be indexed. And you go down here, and you select installs up here. Oh, no longer indexed. Uh, and you can see what's inside of them by expanding them, by the way. But then you come up down here uh, and keep looking around for other things that you may not want to have indexed. Um, raw videos for my my YouTube stuff. Uh, I'm starting to get down there now. Star menu, okay. Music, okay. Live mail, no. I have another live mail account under somebody else, so I'll get rid of that one as well. I don't use those anymore. I'm using the Windows mail. Eventually, I'll get rid of it. I want to get rid of all my YouTube stuff. Uh, do all that and just look around until I get rid of everything I don't want to have. Now you can go up here and look around some more uh, besides the ones you have down here. You can actually go in here and and look at some detail. But again, uh, no really need to. All you want you're done. Just come down and click on OK. And uh, you're ready to go per mostly. And there it is. It's a new list of all things being indexed. So uh, what does that mean? Well, if we go over here to... Here, you'll see that the indexing is occurring. I'm not doing anything here. It's jumping. Those files are jumping around as the indexing has changed. Uh, so it's out there doing its job already. Now, this is great. Uh, we're going to go take a look at it. Here it is. Here it is here. It's under, uh, it's under temp. It's under application or, yeah, applications, windows. And you'll see that it's starting to re-index. You'll see this start jumping around. As I move, and you'll see the size of this file eventually go. It takes a while uh, to do that, but you see the file jumping because it's creating these indexes, trying to speed your system up by indexing files so you can get the files faster. And this will eventually shrink, or you can actually delete it and start over again. Uh, if you don't have another hard drive to put it on, uh, this is what you're going to have to do. You just have to sit there and let it re index your system, and it'll save some of your. Uh, uh, information it'll, it'll only save partial list of files and therefore that should get smaller now this changes for you know the terabytes out there getting pretty cheap and everything a lot of us have gone and bought extra hard drives you can actually go out here to the advanced uh, over here and say okay well i want to put this somewhere else so uh, you don't have to touch any of this stuff here just say uh the location and you're going to browse and you can sit there and say oh look i want to go here to uh, I'm going to put it on my uh, master's. Uh, uh, my gaming? No. I'm going to put it on my master's directory, on my master's drive, that is. So I'm going to say, oh, under my master's, I'm going to say make new folder. And then click on that. And what I'm going to create is I want to call I'm going to call it search index. So let's do that here. Search index. And boom. Say OK. We're good. That's going to be the new one. After the service has been restarted, it's going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to say OK. Now, uh, we can pause it here. We can uh, do that. But what I did is I rebooted and started it back up again. But before I do that, let's take a look here. And you'll see that here, this is what we started with. OK, this is uh, how much space I have. Uh, this is what's going on. Uh, it's paused right now, but uh, how does how many items it indexed. But now that we have all that set up and everything, uh, you can click on Rebuild, by the way, and it'll go ahead and rebuild it. But again, we're going to restart the system just because it's uh, better. Look at here. Here's, uh, I've already gained back that 2.7 gig there. And you'll notice it's indexing the uh, drive right now. 
uh, and it's put it over here on master. So let's go over there. I'm back here on search data. We'll take a look at it. Create an applications directory, Windows, and there it is. And look how small the file is now with the, the less files I'm indexing. Uh, and it'll sit there in a minute, and it'll start up, and you'll see files start being created and the index being rebuilt. And it may grow. There it goes. Uh, it'll start uh, changing uh, stuff, uh, making new indexes, speeding your system back up. But beware, your system will run slow for a little while. So uh, that's the way to do it. It works on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, just move your uh, file somewhere else and uh, trim it down a little bit to uh, uh, clean up your search indexing. Again, go to the control panel, just type in uh, indexing options, and go here and change your settings here in your indexing options dialog box. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.